Hey all, thanks for joining. We have Brinson Pashnuk online. Um, if you can please keep your mic muted if you are not speaking uh, and use it, utilize the raise hand feature at the bottom of your screen. Uh, we can go ahead and get started if anyone has any questions. Kevin. Hey Brinson, it's Kevin Curse from The Athletic. Um, you must feel right at home, I guess, huh? Being in the <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty crazy, um, you know, playing four years at Arizona State, then preparing to head off to San Jose, then finding out that, uh, you know, we're staying here for training camp. So, um, yeah, I feel pretty, pretty what, uh What have you learned about yourself in this camp in terms of, you know, just matching up against NHL competition? Uh, I've learned a lot. Um, there, one, I've learned that there is so much to learn at this level. Um, you know, the 10 days or however long I've been here, um, I just learned so much every single day and I learned what it truly is like to compete at practice every single day you know you have to go 110 percent every single day um, competing with all these guys so that's probably the biggest thing I learned is uh, the amount of hard work it takes to to be at this level. Bob's been pretty complimentary of you you know have you gained confidence just going out there and playing your game against um, these guys and, and, and at least from what it sounds like having some success so far? I have for sure. Um, I mean, definitely at the start of camp, I was uh, super nervous, I'm a very nervous human being um, in general. So you can imagine my my nerves were going quite a bit when camp first started. And I think you could see my play a little bit. You know, I was kind of afraid to make um, some mistakes and stuff. But as the camp has gone on and uh, the coaches just helped me, um, you know, take away some of the bad habits in my game and focus on uh, this level, um, I felt more and more confident. In, and uh, every day is a new, new experience and a new learning curve. But yeah, feeling, uh, feeling, feeling good. It's been awesome. Who are you playing with tonight? Uh, I'm playing with Malosh tonight. Thanks. Yeah. Shang. Hey, Brinson. How's it going? This is Shang Tang from San Jose Hockey Now. Is it a, a Pajnook? Is that how you say it? Uh, it's Pashnuk. Pashnuk. Okay. Well, that's way easier than it looks. So yeah, Pashnuk. Way easier. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, you know, uh, you talked about uh, just sort of your, the confidence you've gained in camp. Can you talk about some of the feedback you've received from the coaching staff, uh, both on the positive and negative side for your game? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, uh, when I talk about learning uh, a lot of stuff, you know, I'm, I'm referring to like stuff that I need to get better at um, and the coaches have helped me through that. So I think especially a lot on the D side, um, you know, coming from college, uh, you know, I might've been able to get away with um, just relying on, you know, like my strength. Um, but at this level, you can't really do that. So the defensive side has been a lot and a big learning curve, just making sure I have good gap um, and never turning my, my back from the play in the in the D zone and, and making sure I'm boxing out in front of the net. Those are those are probably the um, the biggest things that I, I continually need to work on. Um, but positively, I've just been really thankful that the coaches are allowing me to play my game and jump up offensively and um, have some fun on the ozone blue line. In the last scrimmage, uh, you were on the power play, and so what was that experience like? And do you feel um, you know, I guess ready to, to, to run a, a pro power play. Yeah. I mean, uh, that experience was awesome. It's, it's so much fun playing with uh, guys of this caliber on the power play. They, it's, it's almost like they don't make mistakes. Like when they're passing it to you, they're getting it right on your tape. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I'm ready, but, uh, I just want to come in every single day and, uh, give it my hundred percent effort to um, try and be there. And, and that's all I can really ask. Uh, the rest is uh, up to the coaches and management. Awesome. And uh, finally, uh, you mentioned that you're uh, a little nervous coming into camp. Uh, which Sharks player were you kind of most nervous to meet? Uh, that's a good question. Um, honestly, probably like Kaner. Um, you know, he's, he's such an incredible player in the league and um, I don't know, maybe I was just a bit like intimidated by him because, you know, he he's a tough guy, but he's he's also a really good guy and uh, super nice, um, very welcoming. And uh, yeah, so it was probably him was the most uh, scared I was.
Has it given you a good uh, good hit in practice yet? I haven't got hit by him yet, thankfully. So so that's a good thing. <laughs> All right, thank you, Brinson. Thank you, Curtis. Hi, Brinson. This is uh, Curtis from the Mercury News in San Jose. You know, obviously last year you were kind of deciding whether who to who to sign with after you finished up finished up school. Um, has it worked out in San Jose the way you kind of thought it would? You know, looking back at that decision and maybe looking ahead to, to this year, has it kind of looked, worked out the way you'd you had hoped it would? A hundred percent, without a doubt. Um, I've never been so thankful that I that I chose San Jose. Um, what drew me here was just, you know, the, the family culture that they've established here and um, just how how they treat you more than just a hockey player. They treat you, you know, as a human being and a brother and a, a friend and family. So um, it's been incredible. You know, they've been so welcoming here um, from all the, the older guys, to the coaching staff, to the management, um, to the younger guys. Like, it's just been awesome. I couldn't have asked for, for anything better here. It looks like, it sounds like Bob is in the, in, in the Sharks are going to be making their roster trims tomorrow is who, who they want to keep on the roster, who they want to put on the taxi squad, who they're going to maybe send down to the American league. Do you allow yourself to think about the possibility that you could be on the NHL roster here in a few days? Yeah. I mean, I, th I think you, I'd be lying if I said I didn't, but um, I definitely try and not focus too much on that right now. I'm just trying to uh, go out every single day and, and work my hardest and, and take it day by day and, um, you know, leave rest up to God and, and the coaches. And I'm just very, you know, thankful and blessed for, for this opportunity um, to be here. Any other questions, guys? Okay, thanks, Brinson. Uh, we will keep you updated uh, via email about post-game availability tonight. That's it for, for this one. Thanks, everyone.